If I was going to give this topic a uh, name, I'd probably call it Tough Topics. Um, this might sound a little bit odd, but uh, what I'm talking about is XDA etiquette, uh, or etiquette, depending how you enunciate that where you're from. Uh, it's really kind of a tough topic because people seem to have different ideas of what exactly that means. And it's also a tough one to cover for myself because uh, it may seem like perhaps I'm trying to ask people to do things my way or perhaps that uh, you know when we talk about things like thanks buttons and donations or something like that that I'm trying to ask for that for myself which is not the case uh, I do really feel that this needs to be put together as part of the complete package of part of developing Android and that's because a lot of Android development takes place, or at least the communication of that Android development takes place on XDA developers. And uh, it's a really great site, a lot of things in there. They're not paying me to do this. Uh, you know, I just, I just really feel that, uh, that others can benefit from taking a look at this uh, XDA etiquette video series here. Uh, the first thing that I want to cover is uh, posting a question. You know, you get on XDA and it's like, where do I find what I'm looking for to talk about something, to, uh, to get an answer to a question that I have, to start a discussion on some device or something like that. Um, the big thing to remember is uh, XDA is really huge. And so I see a lot of people posting something in the wrong section. Because it is so huge, it can be confusing at times. For instance, right here I have the Samsung Galaxy S4, the T-Mobile variant, the M919, um, which looks remarkably similar to the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 uh, thread over here. But this Galaxy S4 thread is typically, uh, or primarily for the um, international versions, and uh, this one that we have here is just for the T-Mobile variant. So you might wonder, well, if I have a Samsung Galaxy S4, where am I supposed to post my question? Well, a really good uh, thing to think about is what variant do you have, and do they have a specific form for your variant that you're looking for? For instance, I'll just grab uh, this window right here and let's say you have the Samsung uh, Galaxy uh, S7 we'll just say well do you have a Verizon um, do you have an Edge, do you have a T-Mobile, do you have a Sprint, AT&T obviously Edge is not a um, vendor uh, or a uh, provider but rather a, a type but you know just something to consider what what type do you have, do you have a T-Mobile then you should go to the T-Mobile S7 Edge forum, most likely that's where you're going to uh, ask your questions or where you're going to look for what you want to post. Um, once you get to a forum, it's broken up into several different sub-forums. So for instance, we'll, we'll take just the T-Mobile here for a moment. And notice that it has a general section and a question and answer section and it has an accessory section and it has uh, Android development and then original Android development and then themes and apps and and then there's developer discussion and unified development uh, unified development typically links between different ones um, if you open this unified development here we'll see Samsung Galaxy S4 unified development and if we click unified development in the regular S4 thread you're gonna see the exact same material so uh, just be aware of that if you do uh, if you do something like that. Um, so as we're looking over this T-Mobile uh, Samsung Galaxy S4, let's say that was the phone that you had that you wanted to post a uh, question or something, uh, a couple things to consider. There is a question and answer section and you'd say, well, if I have a question, I should post in the question and answer section, right? Well, that depends. Um, if, you know, it's specific to a ROM, like let's say, we'll just open up the uh, Android development here, and we see a ROM that I created uh, quite a while back, 
and we say, oh, well, the question that I have is for Slim Rom's N, or Nugget, uh, in this case, or Resurrection Remix Marshmallow, in that case. Um, if your question is specific to a ROM, that's a custom ROM, I would recommend that you go to that custom ROM's thread to ask the question. Now in some custom ROM threads, they will specifically state at the beginning that they have a specific question and answer thread in the question and answer section. And if that's the case, you should be mindful of that. So whenever you go to a thread, like let's say you were using Resurrection Remix Marshmallow on your S4 and you're like, oh, okay, I want to ask a question about this. First, read through the first post and make sure that they don't have a question and answer thread that you should go to. Usually, it'll have a link to it if, uh, if you particularly uh, need to do that. So then you're like, okay, well, I know I have a question about this Marshmallow Resurrection Remix uh, ROM. I should just go ahead and post my question here. The next thing you should do is search the thread to see if the question has been asked before. And it really, it just saves you time. You know, you might sound like I'm, I'm trying to be uh, petty here, but if your question is about, um, you know, the GPS, let's say the GPS is not working on your phone. So you hit the GPS, and guess what? There are uh, some questions in here, and it says somebody else asked a question, Cosmos asked a question about the GPS, whether or not it worked, right? And you can just click on that. We'll just open a new window so we can, we can go back. And it says, hey, how does the GPS work with this mod? So he was wondering, he wanted to install this, but he wanted to make sure the GPS works. And uh, I was able to answer him that the GPS works. Um, and he had some other questions as well. So if you search the post or search the thread for keywords that relate to your question, it's really going to save you a lot of time because if you go ahead and post your question, hey, does the GPS work on this particular ROM? For one, you're making a little more work for everyone else because they have to answer a question again that's already been answered. Most people are kind enough and, and able to do so, uh, but it's so much faster because you would have to wait for someone to read your question and then someone be willing to answer your question, read your question, and then that somebody to actually respond to you. So for instance, like myself, I don't go on to my threads every day. So it might be, you know, a few days before I get back to somebody if they ask me a question. And uh, and then, you know, you're, you're uh, waiting for three or four days to answer a question that's already been answered in that thread. So then you're like, well, what if my question hasn't been asked? Then by all means go ahead post your question if it's if it's related for instance though you wouldn't want to come to this resurrection remix marshmallow rom and ask a question that has to do with a different rom hey well uh does the lineage rom work here that that's irrelevant to the thread that you're in you've got to try to keep the thread on topic uh another thing that i would recommend avoid doing is asking for an opinion some people will argue about this whether or not it's right to ask for opinion or not if you're going to ask an opinion type of question I would recommend that you go to the general thread um, for doing something like an opinion uh, or maybe I, I would suggest question and answer be related specifically to problems that you have uh, you can see some people have asked some question and answers that are opinion based best clean stock ROM you know there's some gray area there and that I guess would be alright uh, but definitely not uh, under um, Android development or original Android development uh, if you have a question that's relating to accessories obviously you have the accessory um, questions that you can ask there um, but also when you get into, for instance, you have a question and you get into the question and answer forum, you're like, boy, I really want to ask this question. Uh, my phone's overheating and having a problem with, uh, with uh, taking pictures on the stock ROM or whatever. Before you ask your question, again, 
search the forum. There's there's a bar right here just for searching the forum. So let's say we had a GPS problem again, and w so we'll be like GPS problem, right? My GPS isn't working, or whatever the case may be. Now it's going to search the entire T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S4 question and answer help and troubleshooting thread for your question. And look at this. The first one that pops up, problem with GPS is unable to lock. I didn't I didn't pre uh pre think these through for the questions that I was going to ask. I'm just asking some generic questions here. So if you have a qu problem with you can't get the GPS to lock on your phone, obviously this would be the first stop. So I would recommend you read through the problems that are already written down and see if somebody's answers in there can help you. For instance, we go to this one. Uh, does anyone experience this problem? And they're talking about the problems with their GPS. They can't get it to navigate. And he's like, well, mine works great. OK, thanks for sharing. Here's some information. Try doing this. You know, And then you should try those things and see if they help you out or not. So lots of things to consider before you make a post, whether you're posting in a thread that's already been made or whether you're making a new thread question or a new thread post, be sure to check over uh, and search through the forums that are appropriate for your phone to see if that's uh, already been asked, already been posted about, or something you need to, um, to ask on your own. So, which will lead us to the next portion is uh, responses and, uh, and appreciation.